Hey gang, Superhands886 here, and this is Super Hands On. What's up gang, Superhands886, back with another episode of Super Hands On. Today's episode is for advanced users only, as the application we're going to show you requires that your phone is rooted. It is called Native SBS. Uh, we'll put a link to the Google Play Store in the description below. It's just under $10. What it allows you to do is run your phone in a side-by-side -side format so that you can use all of your apps and games in a virtual reality headset. It runs your apps and games in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio when it does it in the side-by-side -side format. So if you have an inexpensive headset with a limited field of view, you're most likely going to see a black bar at the top and bottom of your screen, which does take away from how immersive it is, it makes it much more like a big screen 3D TV right in front of your face, which is still pretty cool. I have a Gear VR here that I have modified for my Nexus 5. This has an incredible field of view and really great lenses, so it brings that immersive experience back to the table. I will do a video on this headset and how I modified it in the future because this was a really great project. Native side-by-side -side, it is relatively easy to set up. We'll show you how to do that at the end of my little diatribe here. It's important to know that the games on the Google Play Store, they were never intended to be used in a virtual reality headset, so you're going to need controllers to make them work. A lot of the games already have native controller support, and the ones that don't, you can have a key mapper. If you're going to be using native side-by-side -side with a key mapper, you must load native side-by-side -side first and then your key mapper. We've tested a few key mappers and found compatibility issues with native side-by-side -side if you don't run it in that order. So always, always, always load native side-by-side -side and then your key mapper. We've also found, we've, we've played hundreds of games in the virtual reality headset with native side-by-side. -side. It's just been a blast to do. We found that we needed a wide variety of controllers to do this with. Uh, we found basically four controllers that we have that have pretty much suited all of our purposes. We have a Bluetooth mouse. We have a MOGA controller that a lot of games just have MOGA support to begin with. The ones that don't, we have a universal driver that we can use this as a Bluetooth gamepad, which is really sweet. We have a USB mouse that we use with an OTG cable. And then my favorite controller, anytime that I have a game that will run with a, U a USB gamepad or when I'm using a key mapper, I always use my Xbox 360 controller. Uh, this is a wireless controller that I have a USB adapter for and we use with an OTG cable. Um, I'm sure that you can use a lot of other controllers other than the ones that I just showed you. You're just going to basically gonna have to experiment with them. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to show you how to get native side-by-side -side loaded and then the settings that we have found that are basically the sweet spot for apps and games to work with a virtual reality headset. So without further ado, here's native side-by-side. -side. This is outrageous. This is contagious. Yeah. This is outrageous, this is contagious. Ooh, ooh, feel it. Yeah, feel it. So beautiful. No. This is outrageous, this is contagious. Oh! Look out! I'm dangerous. 